With the aim of bolstering astronaut safety, NASA offers $20,000 for best rescue plan. Big price money to save stranded astronauts. NASA invites innovators to develop life-saving lunar rescue system. Meanwhile, Sunita William completes six months in space. But what's hindering Indian origin astronauts' return? In a groundbreaking initiative aimed at bolstering astronaut safety during its Artemis missions, NASA has launched a global competition to develop a lunar rescue system to help incapacitated astronauts on the moon. With a remarkable prize pool of $45,000 on the line, this challenge will award up to $20,000 for the most outstanding design. Open for submissions until January 23, 2025 via the HeroX platform. This project highlights NASA's ongoing efforts to address the harsh realities of space exploration and ensure astronauts' well-being while navigating the moon's extreme environment. The Artemis missions, slated to begin in 2026, aim to return humans to the moon with a focus on exploring the lunar south pole. This region presents significant challenges due to its rugged terrain and extreme temperatures. The potential for astronauts to face medical emergencies, injuries, or accidents in such a harsh environment has made safety a top priority for NASA. The Space Agency has emphasized the importance of the lunar rescue system, stating, In the unforgiving lunar environment, the possibility of an astronaut crew member becoming incapacitated due to unforeseen circumstances is a critical concern. The competition calls for a design capable of moving a fully suited astronaut over 2 kilometers, up a 20-degree incline, without using a rover. While the moon's lower gravity reduces the astronaut's weight, it's still too much for manual carrying, making a technological solution essential. Meanwhile, Indian origin Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore has completed six months on the ISS on November 5th with two more months to go. On June 5th, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams launched into space, becoming the first to fly Boeing's new Starliner crew capsule on a week-long test voyage. They landed at the International Space Station the next day. Williams and Wilmore's prolonged mission began when a small helium leak was detected in the Boeing Starliner spacecraft. The problem had initially reportedly seemed manageable. However, the situation worsened as more leaks were discovered, coupled with the failure of five crucial thrusters. Despite efforts to manage these issues, the situation has left Williams and Wilmore stranded in space far longer than anticipated.